Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pingvi Study Abroad. If you're planning to study for a master degree in Germany, then you should be aware of the exams to be taken to secure your admission. So different universities will have different requirements and there will be course specific requirements as well. So which of the following tests are applicable to you depends on the courses you are interested in. However, having a general idea of the exams to be taken will help you save a lot of time. So let's get into the video. Broadly speaking, these tests are classified into three categories. German language proficiency test, English language proficiency test and aptitude test. I am also mentioning the test fee here, but it is fixed in euro and dollar. So I am giving you an approximate value in the INR. First, German language proficiency test. So if you are studying in a German taught program, then you are supposed to submit proof of your German language proficiency. And the usual requirement is of German language level B1 or B2 or C1. But it depends on the course and university that you are going to study. But if you are studying in an English taught program, then you do not require any German language proficiency. But there are some public universities which ask for basic German uh, level knowledge like A1 or A2 level. And they will give time till the end of first semester or first year of studies to submit your proof. But if you are required to submit a proof of German language proficiency, then make sure that you are, you are giving tests from recognized test bodies and the commonly accepted tests are TestDAX, DSH or Goite. So if you have given a test in any of the private institutions in India, please note that this is not valid in Germany. And if you are giving any uh, test in any test bodies like TestDAF, DSH or Goitech, then the test fee will be under 15,000 uh, rupees only. So this will depend on the test you are giving. Second, English language proficiency test. Germany offers many English taught master degree programs for international students. In this case, you have to submit proof of English language proficiency. Most of the universities provide many options for the students to prove their proficiency. And the commonly accepted tests are IELTS, TOEFL and Cambridge English proficiency. So before giving the test, you should check with the university requirements. If you are giving IELTS, an overall score of 6 or 6.5 is usually required by the university. And the test fee is 16,250 in INR. If you are giving TOEFL, then you can give either internet based or paper based TOEFL. So if you are giving internet based TOEFL, the required score is between 60 and 90. And if you are giving paper based TOEFL, then the required score is between 310 and 677. And the test fee is approximately 16,200 in INR. Third category is entrance test or aptitude test. So generally speaking, the master's admission is based on the academic results, SOP that you submit the recommendation letters that you collect and the attached documents. But in some cases, some public universities require you to submit scores of aptitude test. And some universities will also conduct their own aptitude test to assess your eligibility. However, it is not common, but uh, in most of the cases where aptitude tests are required, the usually uh, requested tests are GRE, GMAT or GATE. First one is GRE. GRE has both uh, subject test and general test. The general test is used for business and management programs, whereas the subject test is used uh, particularly for fields in science, uh, mathematics and literature. An average score of around 300 is, is considered good for admission and they have multiple centers in India and the result is valid for five years and the test fee is 17,000 in INR. Second is GMAT. GMAT is a standardized test used for management programs like MBA. An average GMAT score required by German universities is 640 and the test is valid for 5 years and the test fee is approximately 22,700 in INR. Third, GATE. GATE is a standardized exam conducted in India. It is recognized by top universities like RWTH Aachen and TU Munich. Generally, the GATE score is valid for 3 years but there are some uh, public universities in Germany which consider the GATE score even if it is 10 years older. So most of the universities do not ask for GATE score, but you have attended the GATE exam, then it is always better to submit the GATE score because it will improve your chance of admission. So generally, these are the exams to be taken in general to get an admission from a public university in Germany. So check with the university website uh, to know which exams you have to take. I hope you liked this video. 
If you have any questions or doubts, please comment in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.